at the Corner Balloon Shop in Minneapolis. We've got everything. Name a balloon and they've got it. We do balloons for all kinds of occasions, corporate events, bar and bat mitzvahs, weddings are real popular again, um, and just everyday birthday parties. Kristen Trainer says it's a busy time for balloon sales, so she likes to remind customers. We want people to be responsible with them. Don't release them into the environment. A good reminder, especially with the Alliance for the Great Lakes releasing data showing 18,000 balloons or balloon pieces were picked up over a three-year period along Great Lakes shorelines bad for wildlife. Basically see them as potential food sources because they don't know what to make of them. Tim Schaefer is with Environment Minnesota. He says it's an issue along our lakes as well. Volunteers with the Cannon River Watershed Partnership picked up 8,000 pounds of litter and plastic in their region last year. Some of that comes from balloons. Dangerous problem, especially for wildlife. And environmentalists say there's a simple solution. Stick to using them indoors and then disposing of them properly when they're, you're done with them. Back at the corner balloon shop. Certainly don't release my Lars. Kristen will continue her reminders to protect our environment. Oh, absolutely. Yep, you can use balloons responsibly. In Minneapolis, Alex Hagan, Care 11 News. 13 states have banned or are considering banning the intentional release of balloons. Minnesota is not one of them. But something to keep in mind, you can buy environmentally friendly balloons. They do cost a bit more or choose an alternative. We have a list of ideas at care11.com.